Welcome back to Cactus Core Plays Mass Effect 2. My name's Kevondre. My name's Bobby. Last time we went on a Kasumi's loyalty mission uh, to get back KG's gray box, and then we wrecked it. Yeah. Uh, and as Donovan chosen, was goddamned. Yeah, as chosen by a robot. Yes. Uh, the Echo chose that, and thus Kasumi's loyalty mission was replaced on our list by Morden's. So we still have eight choices of stuff to do. Uh, and I'll run through those choices again. Most of them are loyalty missions. These first five are. Uh, number one, Miranda. Number two, Jacob. Number three, Jack. Number four, Zaid. Number five, Morden. Number six is Recruit Tally. Number seven is Recruit Samara. And number eight is the Shadow Broker DLC. Alexa, pick a number between one and eight. And she takes a minute to do this. It's weird. Your random number between one and eight is six. Six. Oh, Recruit so, Tally. So we're going to go Recruit Tally. All right. Fair enough. I was wrong at the end of the last episode. Not another loyalty mission. Hashtag not another loyalty mission. Hashtag not my loyalty. That's right. Burn through that gas, motherfucker. Yeah, gas is expensive. Shut the fuck up. Nope. The tally is over here. <clears throat> hey, Strun. Look at this sun. I'm gonna fly right into it. Bam, we live in sun. No. No, you dead. We live in sun. No. You dead, sun. And I'm still sick, if you didn't fucking notice. Yeah, this is recorded, like, right after the previous episode. Yeah. So, obviously, he's still sick. He didn't get better in ten minutes. That'd be great. He can do a lot of stuff in ten minutes. Or less. Sometimes it's disappointing. <laughs> but, uh, not get better. <laughs> oh, look at this team. We're going to do great. And look, uh, now that we have her loyalty, she has an extra appearance. Oh, nice. And that's true for all of them. Oh, you don't. So we're going to get extra costumes for everybody, which is going to be fun. But we're going to go with our core team here. Oh, yeah. Uh, Thane also has a different appearance, too, like Jack does. And I don't mind his shades. And using incinerate a lot, so we should do that. Does he wear those shades at night? Yeah. I wear my sunglasses at night so I can, so I can. I'm expecting him to start coughing in any, any second now. Nope. Haha. Uh -huh. uh, okay. Jack can push her bryotic abilities to the limit, greatly reducing the recharge time of her powers, or her weapon damage is going higher. I'm going to go with this one. Yeah. Oh, and we haven't used him yet. Throw is good, but warp is better. And then we'll do a little bit of Monica. Nice. Cool. Locust. Yeah, that's fine. Incisor. Uh, I'll go with Mantis. All right. That little critter about to get in. Oh, no. Yeah, uh... We can't be in the sun. Or we can go in the sun, we just gotta be quick about it. Okay. Because our shields start to break. See what I mean? Yes. My shields are overheating. Why do you stop running, Shepard, you fucking idiot? Shepard can only run for so long before she gets too tired. Yeah, that distance is apparently like 50 feet rather than the several miles you would expect a Spectre soldier to be able to do. With all this armor? I don't know. Yeah. What do you think our, uh, our military trains in not their armor? Well, they but they just wear like green clothes. Nah, they put on 80 pound packs. And then they run like motherfuckers every day. Get him! Yeah. Get him! Get him! Ah, come on, recharge. Then there we go. Oh, it was over. Okay. 
But there's more guys. <clears throat> That's right, motherfucker. That was not necessary. It was if you're a jack. Oh, fair enough. We need to find another path. Jack is a puzzle trap. Always goes overboard. That's true. She is best girl. Like, I smell the guys, but I don't see the guys. Go get in combat, bro. I smell dorks, but I don't see dorks. True. Dick. Come out here in the sun and say that. He's dead, Jim. Damn it, Jim. I'm for legalist, not a footballist. Yeah. Do you even know what a philatelist is? It's uh, a man who philatelists. Okay. He philanders. That's not the same thing. <laughs> it would be great if it was. Philandering means to borrow something without intending to pay it back. That's what I learned in uh, high school from my friend Matt Lawrence. He would be like, all right, uh, Coates, like to philander one dollar, and then it would be great. Nice. That's what it means. Or rather, that's how we all used it. And then I, uh, my friend Dinner heard me saying it that way and just assumed that that's how it meant, was meant. And then she used it in her, uh, her paper. Oh! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> That, uh, must have been an interesting time. I don't think she got in trouble or anything for it. I don't really want the Tempest. For those of you who are wondering, Lander actually means, according to the definition, uh, of a man readily or frequently enter into a casual sexual relationships with women, also known as a womanizer. You're a womanizer, woman. Sound familiar? Yeah. Whereas a phlegalist, if I remember Shepherd right, is a person who collects stamps. I'm afraid I don't see any quarry and survivors here. The man they call Jane. Your current position. Walking down to base camp across the valley. I left Tally Zora to secure shelter, then double back to hold the choke point. Getting Tally out safely is our top priority. If you can extract her, we'll keep them off you. Hold position. We'll hit their back ranks. Wait, watch your ass. We got a dropship coming in. Fucking get rude. Very rude. You guys think that you're going to race that? Silly pitches. Put it on my radar. You will need both sets of charges to clear the rubble. Really? I didn't do that one on purpose. I Are you sure you did? I am. I would not lie to you. How do you know that? You don't go to the sportsman. I know odd things about things, okay? Oh, okay. I've been to a sports ball game. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Which one? I've seen the Kings in person several times. Oh, yeah, that counts. And I went to uh, a Giants and A's game a long time ago. 
Right after the new field opened, because my grandpa worked on the architecture stuff there. Oh, that's cool. Why did you jizz all over the wall, Kev? If you got it pent up, man, it's got to go somewhere. And I saw a Yankees Pirates game when I was in New York. That's just unfortunate. It was a slaughter. But I did touch boobies there. Oh, yeah? Yeah. It was a good day. You're a demolition charge. Where the fucking demolition charges, Tally? You got one. Oh. It was on the desk. It was the weird pointy thing. I don't remember that. That was too long ago. Less than a minute. You don't know. It is a minute too long for you? Yeah. Oh. Short and sweet, that's me. Yeah, that's what I've heard. Is that what you've heard? It is. Oh. That's too bad. Hey, dick. God damn it. Stuff with your stupid geth thing. Just walk right out into that line of fire. Okay. Oh, fuck. Oh, Iridium. Whoa, no! Shep, don't do that! <laughs> Destroyer, huh? Destroyer. Destroy us all! Thank you, Thane, for actually using the gun I want you to be using in Jack 2. Unlike Gare Bear, who refused. Gare Bear? Yeah. I like that name for you. Yeah. Even though uh, Shepard and Garrus is not my favorite ship, I follow a page on Facebook called Shikarian. Oh, yeah? It's got some good fan art and stuff. And I love Garrus, so I'm okay with it. Demolition eggs, demolition there you eggs. Go. Now you got both charges. And full ammo. But now we got more guys. Oh no. Go up there. <laughs> oh, I missed. Oh, I thought that was gonna hurt. That did not. Which is a fine change. Yeah. God damn it, you fuck. Stupid rocket man. Rocket man. Shoot rocket down at our Shepard. Good job, Thane. I'm on a lo, 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 lo. Oh. <laughs> I thought it was going to fall. Yeah, that would have been a lot better. It's like time for a shockwave though, Jack, don't you think? Sure it would be nice if we had Nothing some grenades, don't you think? See, get it? Because he's in this mission. What? We just talked to him on the radio. Oh. And I was just like, sound familiar? And you're like, yeah. Yeah. And then I said it was the man they called James. Like, yeah. Okay. Oh. I have no recollection of that. I've just been mostly agreeing with you. That's how I like to live my life. Yeah. I actually got an Excel spreadsheet problem from work stuck in my head, and it's not been going away. Of course. As boring as that sounds. He really likes his spreadsheets. I mean, also, also I do. I really like my spreadsheets, too. Yeah. Thank you. Commandres are way more useful, and uh, everybody can use them easier. Yes. Mine if are complicated. I had not invented my spreadsheets, we would have problems. Yeah. We would need a lot more people. I don't want the Tempest. Go away. Actually, I do want the Tempest because I can change it. Because it's a weapons locker. Are these Corian buildings? From before they got their asses kicked? What could draw the Corians this far into Geth space? 
They like Hooray. they like to be here. Jack? I'll take it. I'll take it. <laughs> Our ancestors walked these halls with uncovered heads. The sun must have been normal back then. So much space, walls of stone. It's amazing. I wish my friends could see it. I wish Shepard were here. Hello? Is anyone there? Tally, it's Shepard. Shepard? I'm not complaining, but you show up at the strangest times. What are you doing in the middle of Get Space? I got a mission, remember? It's dangerous, but you don't seem averse to high-risk missions these days. I'll discuss the mission as soon as the gunfire dies down. Call Rieger and what's left of the Marines got me into the observatory. From where you are, it's through the door and across the field. I got to the data I needed and I'm safe for now, but I've got a lot of Get outside. Would it help if I brought in the Normandy? Doubtful. These buildings are centuries old. If you bring down heavy fire, this whole place could collapse on us. Is anyone else still with you, or are you alone out there? Rieger had a team of Marines covering me when I ran for the observatory. At least some of them are still alive. I can hear them firing at the Geth outside. It looks like somebody sealed the door against the Geth, and the console's damaged. Can you get it open on your end? Uh, let me see. Yes, I can do it. Here. Should be unlocked now. Shepard, and please do what you can to keep Rieger alive. Okay. So you're gonna walk out there and kill him? No. I like him. Do you? Yeah. Sounds like Tali's got some affection for him. Not really. Affection that she could be You've using on us. I love you, Jack. She's like screaming about them after I killed them. Yeah. Now, if only I had the Mako, and I could just run this motherfucker over. I mean, that would be great. Mold. Eat. I want Kira to be quick. No! I didn't mean it. Oh, wait. Sorry. Those Geth drones are the same ones that killed Jenkins. Not... Yeah, Jenkins. Leroy Jenkins? No. Well then, what's the fucking point? I mean, he might as well have been Leroy Jenkins. That might have been why his name was that. I think I got the Leroy Jenkins achievement. Oh, oh yeah? Do you have the title? I think so. I've been doing Anixia runs to, uh... Hopefully get them out because I've always wanted that Anixia mount. Yeah, I've done that a couple times too, especially since it's right next to Orgrimmar. It's so convenient. Yeah, but the drop rate is like 0.1 percent or something like that. So, yeah. All right, you guys deal with that. Oh, good job, Pete. Usually I'll do my weekly Firelands run and then just hop on down there and do her real quick. That's what Tumblr says to everything. Yeah. Over here. Get to cover. Squad leader Kyle Rieger, migrant fleet marines. We talked on the radio before that dropship arrived. I still got no idea why you're here. This ain't the time to be picky. Tally's inside over there. Death killed the rest of my squad, and they're trying to get to her. Best I've been able to do is draw their attention. How many Geth are out there? The Geth are near platoon strength, but the Colossus is the worst part. It's got a repair protocol. Huddles up and fixes itself. Sucks its own dick. a clear shot while it's down like that. I tried to move in closer, but one of the bastards punched a shot clean through my suit. We need to get to Tally. Got any ideas? Just one. I'm not moving so well, but I can still pull a trigger. And I got a rocket launcher that the sun hasn't fried yet. Her name's Vera. I'll keep the Colossus busy. Maybe even drop his shields. I'll be in my bunk. You'll be able to finish 
<laughs> yeah. Good luck, Krieger. Let's go shoot some gas. Give us a lie. Say hi to Tally for me. Yeet. All right, so the three paths you can take, you left, right, and middle, yeah. left is the best one. Okay. Any particular reason why, or just easy? I just have a lot less of an issue going on. Going down the middle sucks. Right side is okay. Yeah, never go through the middle. It, it's almost always a suicide run. That's what this game's all about. Shepard? You need to stop this. Alright, and we're... Oh. We're... I say that'll work a lot when SIP or any of the computer programs backing up. We need to stop. Yeah. And we're it... all about personification. And then it doesn't, and it crashes, and I'm like, son of a bitch. No, see, it took you literally. Eh. Uh, I don't... I don't care for that. No! No! Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no. Fuck! Fire. You're dead. <laughs> that was a bad combination of things. So, uh, left side, huh? Yeah, definitely still left side. I'm not going the other ways. Hey, th th that's the problem, though, is that I got hit from the right side, which made Shepard get all like, oh, stun, and then also fire. This, all the fire. Uh, it's a bad call. Shut I'll the fuck up. <laughs> Sauce? Shepard. This fucking keyboard. I need to kill this. I like the I like the wirelessness, but having problems with it? It's a shitty fucking keyboard and mouse. It's really bad. We should see about upgrading. Yeah. I want like a high quality wireless one. Because we already have too many fucking cords over here. Yeah, we do. God damn it, Colossus. On Tom's guide, looking up what they got. No, you <laughs> fucking shepherd, you stupid bitch. <sighs> okay, trying this again, and it's gonna be this time that we actually just fucking do it. Makes me irritated. <sighs> yeah, yeah, shut the fuck up. If I just had the fully upgraded uh, heavy weapon, I could one-shot that thing from here. Damn it. Why am I so bad at this game all of a sudden? All of a sudden? Yeah. Haven't been, haven't I been making fun of your aiming for like this? I, I mostly mean in this playthrough. Oh, well, that just happens. I used to be plus ultra at this game. Looks like if you're going wireless, uh, there's a couple of options, but this one Logitech one seems to be on most of the list. It's pretty high up there. Might get you that next paycheck. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We probably haven't told them a whole lot. Uh, I spoil Comadre like nobody's business. Yeah, I'm a spoiled boy. Got no 
At first, it made me very uncomfortable, and to be real, it it still kind of does. Yeah. But Bobby's love language is buying things for people. Yeah. So mostly I, food. Yeah. So I kind of roll with it. It it also helps that I have less expenses than he does. Also that. <laughs> I have almost exactly half the expenses he does. Yes. I don't make quite as much money because his job is more important and harder than mine. But it's it's close enough. Kill it. How did it get its shields back so fucking fast? So what would it take to fully upgrade your gun and one-shot that thing? Uh, I have to find all the upgrades and stuff, so I'd have had to come back here later. Oh, fuck that. Yeah, it's rude. Nice pause screen right there. I, I like that. that. Okay. It, it died though. Hooray! Jack died at the end, but it worked out. Right. Yeah. Hopefully Rigger's still alive. Just let me finish I think so. <sighs> Sup, girl? Just let me Thank complete you, these Shepard. calibrations. If not for yeah. you, I would never have made it out of this room. This whole mission has been a disaster. I wish I'd joined you back on Freedom's Progress, but I couldn't let anyone take my place on something this risky. It looks like I just saved your mission. Maybe now your people will let me steal you from my mission. Just let me transmit the data from a secure channel. Then I can leave with you. And if the Admirals have a problem with it, they can go to hell. I just watched the rest of my team die. Maybe not the whole rest of your team, ma'am. Rieger, you made it. Your old captain's as good as you said. Damn Colossus never stood a chance. Tally's coming with me. I hope that's not a problem. Not as long as it's her choice. It is. Thank you, Rieger. I'll pass the data to the admin Good guy, Rieger. Let him know Look at that. Happened. Yeah. She's all yours now, Shepard. Keep her safe. Damn straight, motherfucker. I liked that one. Yeah. I feel like that mission flowed a lot more smoothly than the uh, previous episode. Yeah. Maybe. The Kasumi one's a special case. Most of these recruitment and loyalty missions are about the same, you know? Okay. Cerberus saw footage of you in action, Talizora. We're looking forward to having you on the team. Your engineering expertise will really benefit the mission. I don't know who you are. But Cerberus threatened the security of the migrant fleet. Don't make nice. You don't have to like them, Tally, but we're on the same side this time. I assumed that you were undercover, Shepard. Maybe even planning to blow Cerberus up. If that's the case, I'll loan you a grenade. Otherwise, I'm here for you. Not Speaking for them. of grenades. It's all I'm oh, yeah? asking, Tally. Yeah. Remember, Shepard, these people thought enslaving Thorian creepers and Rachni was a good idea. I'll be in engineering. Don't forget to introduce yourself to Edie, the ship's new artificial intelligence. <laughs> Jacob probably thought he was being nice, but to a Quarian, artificial intelligence, fucking scary. Oh yeah? Because of the whole Geth background thing. Oh yeah, that's fair. Let's go talk to Tally, see how she's fitting in. Got anything to say? Yalman Chambers. You a Motherfucker! Private terminal. You fucking liar. Okay, there's something. Oh, Elizabeth. <laughs> hey, Shepard. I heard about what you did on Ilium, and I wanted to thank you for helping out Zeus Hope one more time. We're surviving, if barely. Most of Exogen I left, but I stayed behind as an attaché and to make sure that nothing was left of the Thorian. We don't need that problem again. Also, I'm really, really sorry that I shot at you. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I said that, but just wanted to reiterate it. Good luck and thanks. Zeus Hope is alive again because of what you did. Sincerely, Elizabeth Bainham. Did I do something for Zeus Hope on Ilium? I have no fucking clue. Alright. I don't remember. From Admiralty Board Migrant Fleet. Commander Shepard. 
Per Tele Zorath Vos Nima's request, included with her dated delivery from Haystrom, the Admiralty Board has approved her transfer to your command. She has been informed that additional duties to the Migrant Fleet may still be necessary on occasion, but has been given extended leeway to determine when her mission with you is considered complete. This choice was hers, but your role as de facto captain during her pilgrimage may have caused her to be more susceptible to your request. The Admiralty Board trusts that you will treat your new crew member with respect to an honored member of the fleet. Should any harm come to her during... Uh, come to her due to negligence on your part, this board will take severe and appropriate action. Admiral Rao Zara, Migrant Fleet Admiralty Board. Right, so this is her dad. Oh, nice. He's, he's one of the admirals. Um, yeah, so you'll notice that her name is Talizora Vasnima now, where in the first game it was Talizora Naraya. Okay. So in the first game, she hadn't finished her pilgrimage yet, so the Naraya is something of a kid's name. Okay. And then once you complete the... the uh, pilgrimage and get back to the fleet and you get to pick a new ship because the Raya was her old ship. Okay. But the ship that she chooses when she's an adult uh, is the Nima and she's Vos Nima, not Nar Raya. You know what I mean? Gotcha. Okay. So either Grunt or Garrus will be ready for their loyalty mission now too. Uh, but let's go talk to Tally first and then I think it's I think it's Grunt. Might be, it might be Garrus. So, I like Grunt. I like Grunt too. What's up, girlfriend? Shepard, what can I do for you? Have you got time to talk? We didn't really have time to chat while taking out the gas on Haystrom, did we? I can't believe so many people died. Thank you again for getting Rieger out alive. All for data about stars blowing up. I hope the Admiralty Board gets some use out of it. Have you heard any word about Cal Rieger? Could he survive his injuries? He sent me a message. It looks like he'll make a full recovery. Any time you get a suit puncture, it's a matter of luck. Rieger got out with a relatively minor infection. Tell me about the fleet's Admiralty Board. It's one of two major political powers among my people. The Admirals make decisions related to defense or needing immediate action. They also handle major criminal charges, like treason. The other political power is the Conclave, a group of representatives from each ship. They make most of our laws and fleet decisions. Any news yet on the data you sent? I'm not likely to hear anything for a while, or on an unsecured channel, for that matter. Having any trouble settling back in on the Normandy? I like the quiet. I miss the old faces, though. Presley, Engineer Adams, all of them. Doesn't seem right having Cerberus in charge of this ship. Are you sure working for them is the right thing to do? I don't agree with all Cerberus policies, but they're doing the right thing here, Tally. For now. But as soon as you no longer serve their needs, be ready for them to turn on you. For now, I should get back to work. Thanks for coming by. Fresh. What you guys got? know we've got a crazy woman squatting down in the sub deck what if she touches anything I'll kill her oh and the only thing she wears from her waist up is tattoos oh maybe I should go down and welcome her aboard and she's a murderer has biotic powers that could crush you with a blink hates everyone in Cerberus damn it girl stop toying with me <laughs> <laughs> I like that I love them so much <laughs> all right Grunt, what you got I assume it's you Shepard. Yes. I need something to talk to you. I don't know. I'm listening. What's the issue? Something is wrong, Shepard. I feel wrong, tense. I just want to kill something with my hands. More so than usual. Like it's not my choice. Like I just want to, I don't know. Why do that? What's wrong? I will not tolerate outbursts on my ship. Get a hold of yourself. I'm trying. When we're moving, fighting, there's no problem. But here, my blood makes noise. It's screaming. I've got no past to lead me. The tank gave nothing about itching plates and losing control. I want you in the infirmary. I can't have some Krogan disease running rampant. 
Your doctors only see victims of Krogan. My kind do not share with aliens. Not after the Genophage. We won't find someone who's seen this. Krogan my age would still be on the homeworld to Chunka. If Joker can get us to the Krogan homeworld, I need everyone at their best. Thank you, Shepard. I don't like this. Fury is my choice, not a sickness. Cool. So we got access to Grunt's loyalty mission now. Hooray! Which will take the place of Tally's recruitment mission on our list for next time. Making it more likely that next time is a loyalty mission. Yes. Hooray! So it works out. But yeah, let's do our shoutouts for this episode. Alright. Mine's the least relevant to the game, so I'll go first. Okay. Uh, well, the... mine's not relevant to the game either. Oh. Uh... <laughs> Go ahead. Super not relevant. Uh, Kool-Aid, specifically the fruit punch version that you got in the like, huge-ass square jug when you were kids. And some people might still get it now. I haven't seen it in that huge-ass square jug in a while, though. Oh, yeah, I don't think it usually comes like that anymore. Yeah, fuck that. That was great. They got the little ones. Nah, big square jug. Nothing but red-colored sugar. Uh, that colored that, sugar is better. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <gasps> Not in Kool-Aid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right, I guess. In my opinion. Bless your face. Yeah. Anyways, yeah, you had that stuff a lot growing up because it was super cheap. It gave us that sugar rush, and you know, it tasted good when you were kids. That sugar rush. I just having all the things with my shots, like my mom's old cooking stuff, and I remember a lot of those times there was Kool-Aid fruit punch in there. Oh yeah. Yeah. Impressive. And sweet tea. Fuck tons of sweet tea. Nice. So yeah, I just want to do a, a shout out to Kool-Aid. Alright. Uh, I'm going to do a shout out to a YouTube channel called Beanzo. Um, so previously I've done a YouTube, uh, I've done a shout out to a YouTube channel called PBF or Poop Poop Fart. Beanzo is a very similar kind of YouTube channel. Um, where he he basically uses weird objects or, you know, just big, unusual instruments that, you know, you usually don't see people using um, to make video game music. So, like, he'll do it with a harp and, like, you know, hitting the side of the harp and stuff, too. Um, I found him because he did a great rendition of Gangplank Galleon, and I sent it to Bobby. I don't know if you watched it or not. Um, yes. Okay. But I know what you're talking about. I, I really, really enjoyed his stuff. And he's making more... Uh, previously, he basically only made Zelda stuff, which is fine, I guess, but not really my thing. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to do a shout-out to that guy, because he's got some good shit. So, shout out to you, Beanzo. Yeah, thanks, Beanzo. Alright, uh, we will catch you guys next time with another randomly selected mission. Thank you so much, guys. Later, players. Bye.